e, gonbida pena bializitzaiz unean honea etortzeko esan zitzaizuen, bueno, e, saiatuko ginela bi hizkuntzetan egiten, bai, e, alde batetik, bueno, ingleses e, esplik, e, esplikatu doizu egu ba, zertan datzan proiektua, zein dan egin dugun lana, eta gero saiatuko gara laburpen batzuk e, euskeraz e, egiten, norbaitek ulertzen ez badu, ba, ba jarraitu alizateko. Materiala, ez dugu denbora asko izan e, powerpoint abera prestatzeko, e, ze atzo gaue arte lanean ibili gina, baina bueno, saiatu gara baita ere bizkuntzatan jartzen, e, behintzat e, itzaldia jarraitu alizateko. Ordun, e, aurkezpena egiteko, bueno, ni urko naiz, pentsatzen dut gehienak ezagutzen gehala, gaztogunean egiten den lan, eta nerekin eukiko dut Nir Wittenberg, bera da Israelgo e, ezkuntza ministerioan lan egiten du, e, eta bueno, nerekin aurkezpena egingo du. So maybe, Nir, you can join us. Yes. And we can start talking about... That's it? Yes. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hi. Uh, this one? Yes. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for um, uh, welcoming us here in your beautiful building and place. Bueno, creo que ni que usted ha oído hablar de esta cosa de la ni que hay no translate en este. Yeah, not everything. Yeah, you can decide what you want. So we're going to share with you our seminar. It isn't. We only finished it today, but still we have like third and our mission here in in this place. So. I can control the... Yes, maybe from here. Maybe. Yeah, but yeah, we didn't. Okay. Thank you. Bai, esatea orain dikan proiektua ez dala bukatu, orduan orain aurkeztuko izkizu dugu ondori batzuk eta egindako lana, baina orain dik gaur arratxaldean lanean jarraituko dugu eta orduan notaterako ditugu ondorioak eta gero partekatuko ditugu zuekin ere. Yeah. So basically, we come back uh, like one and a half year in Wiesbaden, Germany. Um, Urku and I um, met in a seminar, which uh, we raised the um, subject of uh, digital youth work. Um, we thought that if we know that uh, youth today are uh, digital native and they uh, use the internet for um, every I mean, like uh, to express themselves, to connect with other. Like most of the time, they stay in the uh, digital uh, environment. Then we, the youth worker, must be there. Must be there to uh, protect them. Must be there to, uh, you know, um, keep in touch with them. To be relevant to the um, to their to the youth culture. And so we um, decided that it's very important to make a seminar that uh, um, concentrate in this kind of field. I can translate it. Yeah. Bueno, proiektu hau e, berez lengu urtean ideia lengu urtean sortu zen. Ze, bueno, bisbaden gaudalak e, e, seminario bat antolatu zuen 2000 maseian, tan bilizitun e, E, beraiekin e, lan egiten zuten erakunde ezberdinak eta orduan donostiko udalak e, gonbidatuta ni ere e, an izan nintzan eta handik proiektu asko diseinatu ziran eta hoietako bat da e, orain garatu egun proiektua. Eta zergatik e, gure kezka edo zergatik lan du nahi genuen e, bari, nola lan egin nera beta gazteekin E, sare sozialetan edo ingurune virtualetan, ba bueno, kezka hori genuelako anginenak, e, bueno, nera, nera, zu, magian zuzenean ez, baina bueno, nerabekin eta gazteekin lan egiten genuen eta kezka hori e, ba, genuen, bai, eguneroko e, lanean edo face to face edo esaten dugunea, bai, ba, moldatzen gara, bero gero badago beste ingurune virtual hori non batzutan gure lanean hori ez dugu aplikatzen eta ez dugu Bueno, agia leku batzutan bai, baina behintzat ez genuen ezera dostuta inguruna ebertualean nena beta gaztekin lan egiteko modu ari buruz. Yeah, now we know that when we talk about the digital technology, there is a lot, also in the press and 
in the education field a lot of fear and we know the disadvantage and the challenges you know the cyberbullying and the porn and the, the addiction of use but we tried here in this seminar to focus on the possibilities and the uh, advantage and the way that we can use use the internet to as I said like making a better alliance with the youth so um, so I can translate <laughs> right. Eh, egia da gaur egun kezka hondia dagoela bai aldizkarietan bai bueno eh bai nerabeek edo gazteek sare sozialetan edo sare sozialen inguruan egiten duten erabilerari buruz ba hor a ziberbullyinga dela ta edo bueno adikzioa pornoa baino gu zentralizatu gea gehiago ba nerabeekin egin daitekeen lanketa horretan eta erabilera eh positibo horretan bai okay so I think yeah we mentioned we mentioned uh, the the rationale. Um, so uh, one thing uh, again that we decided that the, uh, we want to yeah um, to bring uh, together um, professional um, that um, uh, already uh, have uh, knowledge and uh, experience in the the field of. Uh, digital youth work um, yeah so the participant uh, as you may know are from the Basque country uh, Germany Israel Slovenia and Turkey uh, 23 participant we'll meet a little bit like very very soon um, you know summary of each uh, um, country uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> Bai, e, e, saiatu geana da, pro, pro, proiektua bera diseinatu genunean bilatzen nola bai nerabeta gazteekin eta sare sozial edo ingurune virtualean esperientzia zuten e, profesionalak ba, proiektu hontan e, egoteko. E, guztira hogeita iru pertsona e, e, egon gara e, proiektu hontan bai, eta hori ikusten duzu zehar hiletetik, bueno, hemen... E, Gipuzkoatik, ba, bai Donostiko Udala, Euskal Herriko Unibertsitatea, eta bueno, gaztegunetik ere eta baita e, bueno, nekan eta e, aldun ditik egon dira topaketetan, e, Donostiko Udala, ezan dut, ezakite esan dut, bai. E, eta gero, hori, e, ale, Alemania kasontan bizbadengo e, langile batzuk etorri dira, Israel dik ere etorri da, Eslovenia eta Turkiatik. Yeah. So we have a variety of uh, professional from the NGO, from the municipality, for the uh, government uh, departments, uh, even from the f uh, private sector. Um, all of them work in the informal uh, education and uh, has like different uh, experience with the term digital youth work. And um, yeah, uh, we, we thought that we're not really interested to bring like expert from outside because we already have the, the, the knowledge and the, um, our um, experience and the, the model of the seminar is to exchange the knowledge and to uh, share ideas and uh, good practices with our own. Bai, e, partaiden artean oso profile e, ezberdinak aurki daitezke, batzuk e, ba, hori, e, udal langilea dira, e, bat, beste batzuk ba, e, organizazio do elkarte ezberdinetakoak, eta ez genuera nazaita zan ekartzea profesionalak guri nola baita esateko zare egin baitzek, eta guk badaukagu, uste dugu badaukagule ezagutza bat, eta proiektu honen helburua hori zan, gure artean e, genuen ezagutza hori partekatzea. Okay. So during here's the book again. Uh, during the um, four days we had uh, discussions and we work in a small groups and we uh, introduce our project and uh, raise uh, dilemmas and uh, questions and case studies and we try to uh, explore, um, you know, the different pers perspective, um, and we figure out that although we are very different, as I said, different countries and cultures, and uh, different organization, and uh, some of us work with uh, disadvantaged youth and youth at risk, and some of us work with normal youth, still we have like the same, um, 
questions about them. You want to, to translate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bai, esan du profil ezberdina zeudela, eta baita ere hori, ere mu ezberdinetan mugitzen ari ginela, batzuk gehiago zentratzen dira lan egiten dute, arrizko egoran dauden nera beta gazteekin, beste batzuk sustapenean kokatzen gara, baina aman komunean zerbait bagenuen, bazan ezkuntzaz formalean kokatzen ginela. Ordu, bueno, lau egunez egon gara ondarri bian, eta nola bait lan egiteko metodologia izan da alde batetik ponentzia edo saio batzuk egin input bezala lanean asteko eta ez da bida sortzeko eta aldi berean ere praktika hon batzuk aurkeztu dira ezagutzeko eta agian gure lekuetan aplikatu alizateko. Ok, so what we're going to do now is we want to introduce the organizations of each country Um, so we'll start with um, Israel. Orain ingo duguna da, bizkat proiektuan parte hartu duten erakunde ezberdinak aurkeztu bar duen beraiek etorriko dira modu oso labur batean zeintzu diran eta zer lan egiten duten aurkeztera. They are very tall, I'm very short. And if I sit, it's like... That's where we sit, all of us. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Luna. I'm a social worker. Uh, I work in a SAR organization. I'm the professional manager. You want to try to start like slow? Uh, Luna da, eta berak egiten du uh, SAR izeneko erakunde batean e, e, aritzen da, bai? No, that was short. Yeah. I talk more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, SAR organization is a, a non-profit uh, organization uh, that has an aim uh, to give aid and reply uh, to youth and adolescents uh, who are in need and risk of uh, suicidal, also to families of people who are in suicidal risk. Other than that, we give a reply to people who are dealing with men, uh, mental and emotional problems. Bai, beraien elkartean egiten dutena da, e, sagare elkartean egiten dutena da, e, nerabe eta gazteekin eta baita beste e, sektore, bueno, adintarte batzuekin lantzen dute batez ere arrisku egoran daude nerabeekin. Beraiek e, lantzen dituzten gaia, ba, entzun dutzen bezala da, ba, hori, bere guruaz besteko egoera hortan egon daitezken gazte batzuekin, edo aipatu dutena atik beste arazo mental edo beste arazo batzu dituzten gazteekin e, lan egiten dute. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we work in uh, different uh, lanes of, uh, of respond. Uh, we have chat rooms that works at night, that being activated by volunteers. Uh, uh, people reach us uh, through forms and uh, we have a volunteer who speaks with them. Um, we have uh, forms that people can uh, uh, write during all day long, uh, their, their emotional and mental problems they are dealing with. And, uh, Beraiek egiten dutena da, webgunearen bitartez badituzte formulario batzuk eta txatantzako batzuk, orduan arrisku egoran dauden gazte horiek beraiekin armanetan jarri nahi badira, esan du voluntario batzuk dituzte, elkarte bat da, eta orduan laguntza hori ematen diete saren bitartez. Adan da, something that is really unique to Saha, we have a patrol, Uh, it's like a, a, a mechanic a, a box that uh, reach out uh, through the net and find words that are connected to suicidal risk. We are reaching out to people and inviting them to come to us. Uh, sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't, but a lot of time it saves the lives of people. Bai, beraiek ez dira zai gelditzen noski nerabeak eta gazteak beraien gara etortzeko baizik eta badaukate aplikazio bat bilatzen dituna interneten suizidiorekin edo arriskua egoera horiekin lotuta hauden hitz klabe batzuk eta orduan bilaketak egiten dituzte eta gonbidatzen dituzte sareetan komentario edo gauza horiek idatzen dituzten pertsona horiek beraiekin harremanetan jartzera. Other than that, the patrol is very unique in Israel, there is nothing like that, by the way. Other than that, we have Arab chat rooms, we are giving response to people from the Arab society, which comes from another culture. Uh, so this is also something really unique to our organization. Uh, 
Mira, ya que la negra tiene un tema de aire, va a gente árabe a recrear, pero ya sacó este gune bresiva a su de tu seda, ahora que va a decir Israel en base a la bresia. Nada. Uh, I would just finish with saying uh, that uh, uh, in the organization there are five people who are working. All the organization is established on volunteers. Also, uh, our uh, the people who come to give us lecture in a different variety of uh, of uh, interests like uh, suicidal risk or mental problem, uh, people who cut. Um, um, eating disorder. Eating disorder. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Different, different emotions. Vale. Right. Uh, yeah. In a bit, uh, yeah. lunch and you do say la, es la ita la ita la ita la ita la ita la la ita 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 I, I, Martin, did you say about the Arab line? Did yeah. you talk about it? Yeah, okay, so. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. 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 So if it will introduce it very shortly. Va va dar carter per chonava de torida eh Jerusalén eco udaletik eta proiektu oso interesgarri ba daukatena nerabekin lan egiteko. Hello everyone, glad to be here. My name is Yefit. I work in the municipality of Jerusalem at the division for youth at risk. Only youth at risk in Jerusalem. This is about 20 to 30,000 teenagers in Jerusalem. Bueno, verá que verá, ya fui y se me ha dado, te he quitado la lana en Jerusalén, bueno, Jerusalén es como Udalean, está, va, se ha escrito, ahora se ha dicho que tengas este departamento, ahora tanto, ya tengo una de las copuros o altura de la Jerusalén. My organization work in the approach of reaching out to the teenagers where they are, like the street workers and going to the street, to the neighborhood, to locate and to give help. And uh, in the last years, in the six years, we found that the, the youth are in the social sphere, in the networks, in the social media, so we need to be also there. Mike, orain arte kale ezitzaiak, edo, bueno, guk esan, ezitzaiak kale erateratzen ziren, ba, nerabe edo gazte hoien bila, doaren konturatu dira, nerabe hoiek ere sareetan daudela, eta erabaki dute horrengo pausua ematea. The workers in the organization use, uh, so, uh, Uh, personal, professional Facebook profiles to be in touch with the youth, and also our main project is a Facebook page that give uh, help uh, in the nights uh, to the teenagers. We reach out through paid uh, published posts that reach to almost 15,000 teens in uh, Jerusalem through, this, through Facebook. La negrita como duda, ¿dí usted Facebook en perfil personal profesional va tú? Ahora era cuando era ni se nea mañana la ve personaliza tú a, va gaste personal bueno físico va te do no va te oquitza como ves tal día neta, pero o real le va da ocate Facebook en un chat Facebook que es quien es un chat o que era hora invitarte es ver allí quién está viendo usted, está ver allí quién el cares que está dí usted, el cares que está saco na dí usted, está allá se dirá The youth that writes to us to to Facebook, it sometimes could be a one-time chat, and it also could be a long-term intervention. When our intention usually is to bring them to treatment, face-to-face treatment. Batzu da ne saldi bakarra edo konversazio oso labura dira, baina batzuetan oso sakonak eta peluzekoa izaten dira, eta saiatzen direna da gero baia beraiekin... Or face to face, la negi tener a cartas en no la ve. Thank you. What's unique is that they combine the like traditional youth work together with the digital in the same unit, and they work like offline and online in together. Now we want to hear Germany. Yeah, if you can introduce yourself. From Wiesbaden, Wiesbaden Eco Taldea, Orquestu Podigu 
beraien burua eta beraiek egiten duten lana. Bueno, bera Estefan da, eta We and You proiektutik dator, bizbadeneko proiektua da. Hello, good morning, my name is Stefan, I'm happy to hear, it's a really nice uh, <laughs> surrounding. Um, I'm working for the municipality of Wiesbaden for the youth department. We run um, seven youth centers in different parts of Wiesbaden. Uh, it's more, let's say, a traditional youth work. We have open houses, the young people can come, spend their time with us, and we help them in uh, to to solve their life problems. Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, oh, sorry. Bis va dengo dar renta de egiten dutelan. Bueno, vaya guisarte. Jesús, ¿cómo ve? Guisarte quinta departamento han ido coca tu tado de baño vaí tú usted saspi centro. Bis va dengo auso es verdineta neta. Bueno, la negiten dute ver tras gardura tendir en nera ve aquí. Um, for a long time, uh, we is uh, normal in our houses that we train the the youngsters about the um, the risks and dangers of using internet and how to be safe and uh, how to behave in the internet. Orainarte beraiek egin duten lana e, izan da batez ere nerabekin lantzea ba internetek eta sare sozialek dituzten e, e, arrisku hoie. Um, and but now we're we're foc focusing um, more on the the fact that um, we try uh, to to keep in contact to stay in contact with our with the young people through the internet that means we communicate with them through facebook whatsapp to stay in contact so they have the chance to reach us even when the house is closed mai orain beste gauza bat eman dute eta orduan eh sare sozialen bitartez aukera ematen diete eta gerturatzen diren nerabeta gaztei beraiekin harremanetan jartzeko zentroa itxita dagoenean ere and and we are work, working on um, um, on a concept and and have to develop this kind of communication because there's an, for us there's no official rules we, there's no real concept to that we all do it in any way and that's the point where we are in our organization Beraiek salto hori eman dute lan hori egiten ari dira baino marko bat falta zaie esne lan sare sozialak erabiltzen dituzte gazteekin harremanetan egoteko baino ez daukaten nolabait e, egitura bat edo lan egiteko metodologia bat ordun beraie bisbaden gogala momentu hontan hortan ari da saiatzen hori dena definitzen eta lan egiteko modu berri hori diseinatzen because um, you may uh, know that we're for municipality as a big organization yeah, is much harder to make change than a small NGO. Yeah, everybody in the municipality wants to talk uh, how to do it, how to set up the internet page, what can you say, is it, and stuff like that. And so it's, is more slow than than or is harder to be innovative um, um, in that work. Bisbadengo udala administrazioa den aldetik ba zaila da batzuetan horrelako aldaketak e, e, ematea. Hori ere pentsatzen dut hemen ezagutzen dugula. Okay. Yeah, that's from me. Um, and we brought uh, a colleague and friend from Wiesbaden. Um, who works for a non-government organization and he um, introduces his project where he's working in. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Paul Henninger and I'm also from Wiesbaden but uh, working for another organization called um, Spiegelbild. 
uh, which is um, we deal in um, non-formal education but oftentimes work together with schools doing workshops um, or um, yeah, b schools are our main uh, focus. Most of our um, our uh, clients are um, students. And as a topic, we cover. Oh, maybe. Vera Polda eta Alemani bizbada neko elkarte bat edik dator, bat ezer lan egiten duna ikastetxeetekin, nerabeekin, eta bueno, lan saio ezberdinak egiten dituzte. And the topics we cover are um, uh, mostly related to history, uh, history of the um, Second World War and um, the Holocaust, but um, because we belong to a bigger organization um, called um, Active Museum for German Jewish History. Active Museum El Carte Tiratos, Tada Bauri Vigarre en Mundo Guerraco, Tada Bueno, Holocausto, Tada Alemania, en Guerra Tocar en Inguruco, Gaya Jorratendune El Carte Bate Tiratos. But also topics like um, democracy, education, um, the way we want to live together as a society, and um, always, even when it's about history, we always focus on um, what can um, we learn from it for today and for the future. Bizikidetza bezalako gaia jorratzen dituzte, bueno, ez diogu alikuspegi historiko batetik ikasi denarekin, ba, horren inguruan. And I'd like to give uh, one example of a project. Um, we created a workshop um, about, um, it's called Love Speech, and it deals with um, ways to react to hate speech on the internet. Bai, sortu dute proiektu bat Love Speech e, izena duna ta da, bueno, interneten sortzen diran e, mezu negatibo edo iraingarri hoiei aurre egiteko e, proiektu bak eta bueno, e, lan saio batzuk e, egiten dituzte. Um, so in a lot of um, our projects we uh, use um, digital media in a um, in a traditional way. But uh, this is a, a project where we um, focus especially on the internet and the web uh, 2.0 and Facebook. Vale, la burto que veis que ver a proyecto a ser tan datan, he visto en tu tenas que en fin anda trebats en ditos tenan la vaina era ve batzuk orla como es para que hagas share social eta ma ver a ye jaquite coeren no la aurregi ne do bueno no la aurregi no la co Egoera bat, baina aparte beraiek erabiltzen dituzten la e, sare sozialak ere beraien eguneroko lanean. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Now we're going to hear uh, two lectures, first uh, by the Turkish group and then the Slovenian. Vamos. Orain pixkat aurkezpen pixka luzeagoak ingo dituzte beraiek, ba beraien proiektu zehatze batzuen inguruan. Bai. So hello, uh, my name is Umut. I am from Turkey. Uh, we are representing Nilüfer municipality and Nilüfer city councils in here. I will just uh, tell a little bit about the organizations, then I will pass through the uh, kind of lecture, but not a lecture, but I will share you a tool, a digital tool. Bai, bueno, bera umut dat, Turkia tidator, hiriaren izena, ez dakit gai nintzen, ez dene meino zit, the name of the city? Nilofar municipality. Bueno, it's a municipality. Bai, eir, udal bada, eta bueno, baita ere, universitateko gaztelkarte bateko partai da. But I'll more focus on uh, Nilofer City Councils. And City Council is a place for freedom for people, for the society. And it is supported by the municipality, but it is independent inside. And um, it has it, its own counseling. And uh, every actor from the city uh, exists in Nilofer City Council. A university, NGOs, academic chambers, and unions, and uh, representatives of the neighborhoods. 
Bueno, nik ulatzen da gazte kontxeiu antzeko bat dena, udalak e, sustatzen duena, baina aparte dena, eta bueno, bazkenean gazteen iritzia eta jasotzeko erabiltzen dutena, eta gero udalari aurkezteko. There are uh, women, youth and children councils in the city council, so they have, own, uh, their, they have their, their own decision-making mechanisms and their decisions are considered in the city near um, main municipality council. So when children take a decision or when youth or women took a decision, it has to be considered by the uh, municipal, municipal parliament and if the idea is coming from youth and women, it has to be uh, accepted by the municipal parliament. They can criticize the idea, but they can not say no. Iru gontxeu ez berdin dituzte, bat emakumeentzako, beste bat gazteentzako eta aurrentzako, eta bere zan hartzen diren erabakiak eta egiten diren ekarpenak udala kompromeso dauka hori behintza da aztertzeko, kritikatu, bueno, ekarpenak egiteko eta gero aplikatu egin beharko luke. And uh, we also have, this is important, we also have neighborhood committees. In neighborhood committees, uh, people are represented in each neighborhood. In Nilofer, there is, uh, there is 61 neighborhood at the moment, and each neighborhood has a committee. And in these committees, it is, uh, it, there has to be uh, children, women, and LGBTI uh, represented. Bale, irurogeita bat hauzo daude irien eta hauzo bakoitzen ere kontxeiu bat dago. Eta kontxeiu horretan nahi eta nahi ez egon bar dira baita ere emakumeak, gazteak eta LGTB komunitatea. So the main aim of the city councils are to keep the democracy culture alive among the city. Belburua da kultura demokratikoa bizirik mantentzea. And provide participation from all over the society. Eta izarte guztiaren parte egitza asustatzea. And now I will jump to this digital storytelling tool and it's actually it's a very useful tool that you can use in your projects. Actually that's we have used in a couple of projects and it was very nice when you work on creating awareness or when you work on empathy. Wow. Bai, orain salto egingo dut, aurkeztuko diogu bai, ea sare sozialekin eta ingurune virtualarekin erlazonatutako beraiak egiten dute lana, ze uste du aplikagarri izan ditekela gian gure esparruetan, eta gero ja, pixkat galdu nahi zeh, zorpera. Well, basically, the digital storytelling is a way of telling a story by using photos, personal photos, and vocalizing the story, and with photos and voice, you create a short movie, like three minutes or five minutes at most. Egiten dituztena da, bueno, beraien historia pertsonala kontatzeko, bagaztekin, iru minutoko bideo bat osatuko duen argazki edo bideo zati txikiak montatu, ba, bere bizitza, nazakit nola dituzten da, bere bizitza hori kontatzeko. So, actually, I'm a trainer, so I'm not used to sitting and telling. Can I just go there and... Can everybody hear me when I speak like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then, then uh, I'm better, right? <laughs> you know, uh, digital storytelling is um, first of all, the participants should be volunteered. So when uh, they should volunteer to share their stories, and you have to take permission from participants uh, when they are coming to share if they want to share their stories or not. If they don't want to share it, it is also okay, uh, but you must know it uh, before. So, bai, nola modu voluntarioan garduratzen dira gazteak proiektu honetara, orduan lehenengo gauza da jakitea behar bereiek prez dauden gero egingo den lan hori zabaltzeko edo ez. So, there are three steps. In first, participant comes and you make a storytelling workshop. There are different techniques of storytelling workshops. Like, one day ask them to bring an object and they, uh, which is important to them. So they tell you the story of this object. Uh, or there is another technique like, uh, I start the story like, I wake up today and it was shining, and the, and the sun was shining. Then he continues his next sentences and next sentences, and then we create a story. There are some couple of techniques like this, and it's a basic storytelling workshop in the first day. 
Técnica es verdad que es storytelling a un equipo y se dice que el objeto va a tener que tener un grupo histórico de Jaraizea, o alguna vez si eran cartas de la Nekine, o alguien de Jaraizea. Y Uh, in the second day, you collect the stories, and if you, if they want to share it with the group, you ask them to read, and then uh, you just listen it, and it's a moment of sharing between the group, and then. And then it wait. Le mengo ego no rembuka na egiten dute nada y datsis hasi hasua beria en visita historia ori eta vigar na gorrean egunean ire kurke ta bat egiten dute y datsis da koa ikuste ko ta gero galdetzen zai a ber ori publica tu na idute. At the age, it doesn't matter. You can do it with children, you can do it with adults and youngsters. You can use this method in many different projects, in many subjects. So uh, you ask them to bring their personal photos, or if they don't have any photos of the story, they can draw it. Or they can Google some photos and they can use these photos. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's their decision. You just let them free to do what, how they want, to compose their short movie how they want. Gero, pelikula hori sortzako eskatzen zaiena edo edo argazkiak ekartzea edo bestela ere ba sarean argazki hoiek bilatzea e, beraien bizitza historia hori osatu al izateko. And the stories are ready, photos are ready, then uh, you start to take voice records. You take the records of their voice. This is the important part because uh, if I tell you a story of a woman or a story of a child, you maybe feel sad, you will feel sad, and you will understand something. But if you listen the story from the woman, from the child, then you will live the story. Then you will understand way more, and you will understand the emotions. You will see how, it, how the face reacts, and how the voice reacts when she or he is telling the story. Gero egiten dute nahia, ahotxa grabatzen dute, ze uste dute ezberdina dela lehenengo pertsonan kontatzen direnean gauzak, hor transmititzen diren emozioak eta ezberdina dira beste batek kontatuta. So that's why you, yeah, you wait, you take voice records. At the end, we use a software, which is named Sony Vegas Pro, and with the software you combine voice, photos, and if you want, you can put some music. And then you create these short movies, like three minutes or five minutes. So with this uh, method, we have used it when we work with refugees and uh, migrants. So when we started this project, there was no Syrian refugee crisis. Uh, so we started to use, uh, work with migrants. Then uh, there has been this war and refugees came. So we also included them into this uh, project. So, uh, so yeah. Gero neko pausoa da hori guztia e, grabatzea eta esaten du hasieran e, inmigrantekin egiten zuten alana baina azkeneko urteetan egon da refugiatu fluxu horrekin ba beraiekin lanean ere hasi direla. So actually this been very very successful even uh, some people who don't want any refugees in the country when they watch the movies uh, they make uh, they they could create an empathy and they could make a better understanding actually. And I saw people who are very against refugees cry when they are watching this. Bai, bai, uste dute arrakastatxua izan dela, ze sortutako bideoien bitartez, ba, lortu dute nola baiteko empatia bat, ba, ziera batean, errefusatu ekiko jarrera negatio batzuk arren pertsona hoiekin. So I want to show you a sample if you have time. Okay, I will just show you a sample from YouTube. No, this is not a digital story, no. Integrat was the name of the project. Yes, for example, this is a story from 
Syrian child, well, they were coming from out of a trauma, so they didn't have any photos. And we just used uh, some photos from internet and uh, we just supported them like this. And in here, you will hear uh, subtitles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you will see English. Yeah. Yeah. You will see the story of a child and a woman. أنا اسمي عمر من الطاس سنانة كنا حلب خمس أخوات نحن وأنا أبوي كنا وأمي أخواتي كنا مبسوطين وأبوي أمي كل يوم بيحكوا الحرب كنا نلعب أرض ديار ونلعب مع أشفاتنا كنا مبسوطين اسمعنا الصوت الصاص والقذائف ونحن كمان نخاف انا امي وابوي بده يرجع على تركيا نحن كان ما بنعرف انا كمان جيت معه افادي ضلوا هنيك وما اجوا معنا راحوا على الضيعه ونحن جينا على تركيا جينا على تركيا وبعدين جينا على بورصة بعدين أبوي أجر بيت وأنا رحت على المدرسة إن شاء الله يخلص الحرب ونروح على سوريا على بيتنا ونعيش على بيتنا إن شاء الله يعني ما يصير شيء وأنا زعلت على سوريا اسمي بديع علو وكان عمري 16 سنة جوازت وعندي صار سبع أولاد وكنا مبسوطين أولادي كان عم يشتغلون كان عنا شغل عنا سيارات كان عم يشتغل أولادي صار حرب أجوا ضرب علينا وأولاد كان عم يخافون عم بهربوا جوات البيت قطعوا علينا موي قطعوا علينا كهرباء قطعوا علينا خبز نحن وين نروح؟ ماذا الأكل؟ ماذا الشرب؟ ماذا الخبز؟ وين نروح؟ جينا على تركيا، العالم قال كل العالم عم بيروحوا أهل سوريا عم بيروحون على تركيا. يعني كثير رعبنا وخفنا من حد هاي هي. نحن جينا على تركيا، الحمد لله هون عم ناكل نشرب مبسوطين. الله يحمي بلدنا وكل بلد. والله لا يأذي حدا. وإن شاء الله هالصواج بيتي كتير تعبني Well, uh, these are the stories, it is the others are like this and just one thing more uh, you, now you understand when you hear it from the teller's voice it makes a big effect and you, you may feel more even if you don't understand the language you can feel something and uh, one more thing in that time, the digital part of the uh, storytelling workshop is we ask them to create their own stories. For example, that woman and that child, they used the computer, they used the software, and they created their own story. We just supported them. We didn't say anything, oh, do this, do this. No, they just did it them by themselves. And they learned how to use the software, and they enjoyed it, and they made a short film. And some, uh, these are the um, project titled ones. There are other happy ones and they had something to share with their family. You know? mm -hmm. So that was also uh, giving uh, digital ICT competences for the participants. Thank you. 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 Okay, thank you. So, maybe now the group from Slovenia. Ora in Slovenia ti da torrentale a kere per progetto a a orchestra tu codigo. I sent you an email. Oh, okay. With the 
presentation. Okay. To to you. Uh, what's your contact? Okay. Yes, yes, I will start and then Rukko will set up the presentation. Hello everyone. I am, my name is Nate. I come from Slovenia, from Ljubljana. We are very glad we, are, we could participate in the seminar. And I am a part of an organization. It's called Ioni Zavod Mladis Mai, which means Public Organization of Young Dragons. It was formed 10 years ago by the municipality of Ljubljana, which finances it, finances it. And we have, we have four youth centers. Oh, not working to translate it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Where of course. <laughs> when working with digital world, technical difficulties may occur. I speak very fast in English, you know, Maybe Apple you Maybe I can speak Basque, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in four days, who wouldn't learn, right? Yeah, I just, <laughs> you know. Bueno, pero ya que... And ah, now vale, we just vale, need the screen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bueno. Eh, Esloveniako eh, elkarte batek datoz, ba, udalaren diulaguntza jasotzen duena, eta, bueno, gaztekin... Eh, eh, nera eta gaztekin eh, lan egiten duten, ez dakit asko da, jo esan du. Ok, yeah, as I've said, we were formed and created and financed by Municipality of Ljubljana. We are a non-profit organization, which has four youth centers in Ljubljana. These are the names. And an awesome street work team, you know, which is represented here by Evelyn, Zia, Nastia and I. Uh, Lau centro ez berdin dituzte e, Ljubljanen eta bueno udalak e, e, diruz lagundutako e, zentroa dira eta bueno beraiek hemen daude langile batzuk ere daude. All right, so our main population is youth from 15 to 29, but we also kind of take children of around 10 and up. Batez ere 15 to 29 years so we order, uh, we offer free time activities, workshops, and rental space for youth. Egiten dute nada, gura, guste du gura gaztelekuen antzerako ekintzak eskaintzen dituzte, ba, leku bat, eta iher batzuk, irakurketarako lekuak. And we also contribute to street work in Ljubljana, to street work considering youth. Baita baita ere, eh, elkarlanean daudela kale, kale ezitzaio programa antzeko batekin, elkarlean dauden ezitzaioekin. Yeah, in this year, our, our team was formed in this year, since our organization felt the need also not just to have youth centers, but also to reach out to the young people in some other areas in Ljubljana. Eh, ai, bueno, bere salto bat eman dutela eta bueno, zentro eta zaparte beste esparru batzuetan ere gazteekin egoteko pausu hori eman dutela. Yeah, this is most of the team which is like built from the administration office with the general manager and consultants and then we have coordinators of youth centers, students who fill in when the co coordinators are not available and volunteers. Vale, eh, da, eh, lan taldea esango genuk eta hor figuraz berdina daude, batzu koordinazio lanak egiten dituzte, besteak begira lo desitzaiak izango lirateke eta We just I just prepared some we just prepared some pictures so you get more of a feeling of what we do so we organize different free time activities, workshops, camps for you. It's like I think it's like we do here so we also participate in a lot of 
youth trainings or exchanges. Baita ere, parte hartzen dute, claro, eh, elkar turke asko antolatzen dituzte, eh, formakuntza saioak eh, ere eh, prestatzen dituzte gaztentzat. And these are some pictures from the street work that our team does. Eta menargazio betan ikusi dezaket dute baita ere kalean egiten duten eh, lan hori. Yeah, just We learn as much as we teach the youth or the children, we learn from them as well. Bueno, eh, yeah. irakasten duten einean ere beraiek eh, asko ikasten dute aldi berean. This is an important one. This is Evelyn and Nastya in the picture with the mayor of Ljubljana. Ljubljana ko alkatearekin aterako eh, argazki bat. Okay. And you can find us at different Facebook sites. The first one is the general site of the organization. The second one is um, our the street work team. Uh, yeah. Hoy he dirado y tú estén sale sociales de Riña, por un breve que nada remane tan hard se coba, va hoy aquí sangolita que vaya el cartel arena que estaba ahí este este departamento se se hace nada. Yeah. Okay. That's that's it for this part for the presentation of organization, and we've been since we are the youngest of the members <laughs> of the seminar, <laughs> we were asked also to give a short lecture or presentation about the digital work that uh, digital platforms that use use right now bai eh hau izan da beraien erakundearen aurkezpena baino orain beraiek dira egia san e, lantalde guztiko e, gazteenak ordun e, suposatzen zaie ezagutza edo praktika handiagoa e, sare sozial ezberdinen inguruan ordun horren inguruko orden inguruan hitz egingo digute so the formal Facebook, but I will not speak about Facebook because I believe you all heard of it. You know. Uh, for some of them, I know some of you use all the other platforms as well. So you know, just bear with me because there might be someone who is going to think about you know what I'm showing and say, yeah, that's what I'm doing for the last five years. But there's someone who says, you know, like. Instagram which you can download and then you just like post pictures. I will just show it on mine. That's all right. So you post the pictures Bye. on the app. Ba, geraie beraie geraie gehien erabiltzen dutena ta gaur egungo gazteek edo nerabeke gehien erabiltzen duten aplikazioa Instagram da ta bueno, hora saltzen duena eh han publikatzen dituzte argazkiak eta komentarioak. Bai. And then what you do is um, you know how do people find those pictures, you know, by my friends that follow me, they pop up instantaneously. But for other ones, they need to find it through using hashtags. Hori, abatzuetan lagunen jarraitzen badituzte, hori kusuko dute informazio guztia, baina beste kasu batzuetan etiketak ere badiko dituzte, edo hashtag hoiek informazioa bilatzeko. And a hashtag is something like a link you put a scale in front, and it automatically Orduan, bueno, adibide bat jarri du, baina bueno, etiketa ondo e, erabiltzeak ba ekarriko du gero informazio hori arraisago bilatu al izatea. Entonces, ves que pausó algo ya voy a mandar esta ramen, ordenó una historia de voy a negar tener una historia y están era villera a escoger ya cuando tú dan una guía la bordo tan borrada senda pública tú de su no vídeo de largas que yo haría. 
people suppose the funny stuff. But then you're thinking like, hey, maybe in some time, you know, I would like that picture to be up there again. So you just post it for 24 hours and that's it. Ba, historian gaiuekin, ba, hori, publikatzen dezu, erakusten dezu zuna idezun da, baina gero egitala gordutan borratu egiten da. There are all kinds of new features with it, you know, I will just, I will just do one. If you would, everybody, if you can wave to me. Three, two, one, wave. <laughs> I'll just take a picture like this. And it's called a boomerang, so it goes like a, the video goes front, and then it goes backwards again, you can see it, right? Gero, boomerang aplikazioren bitartez, aukera baten du horrelako gif animatu horiek ere sortzeko. Ez zara bier asko daudela, baina hori izango nintzateke. So then they decided what can we do next, you know. So then they discovered an app called Snapchat, wow. which you just take a picture, you know, you wake up, you do an ugly selfie, you take selfies all the time, right? Nera bentzando, la hogeita da bordura indikan asko dan beste aplikazio bat, beste pauso bat eman dut eta beste aplikazio bat erabiltzen hasi dira Snapchat. Nun nora indikan ere azkarrago ezabatzen diran gauza. What you do, you don't want it to be up there for 24 hours. It can be still, but you can also take the picture and just post it and send it to your friends, which lasts like from three to eight seconds. Ez nabetxatek ematen nokera da, hogeita lu ordu hori da zain, ematen nokera lagunei bihaltzeko argazki hori, eta gero iru segundutan edo borratze gau. This app is getting like really interested, interesting among the youth with this, because it has this special feature, you know. Mira, nera bintzako oso interesgarrian aplikazio bat da, daukan eskintzen ditu naukera hien gati. You might not understand it as well, but I think it's important for us to, you know, to learn what they are using and how they are using it. Azken pinean garrantzitsuen alaga da, ondu ulertzea, behaiek zergatik erabiltzen dituzen, zer erabiltzen duten, eta baita ez zergatik erabiltzen duten gero guk hor ere lan egin alizateko. So that would be from my side, and I encourage you to also try all of these features, because some of them are. If you have any questions to one of the participants, you want to raise uh, some details about the lecture that you heard or something, we can, we can take a couple of minutes for that. Galderaren bat edo alima dukazute partaide ezberdinek indituzten aurkezpen ezberdinei buruz, ba animatzen zaituztu galdera horiek egitera. Bai, galderarik dago edo jarraitzen dugu... Ah, bai. What's the frequency of posts? Of Facebook posts, one for a day, two for a day? In their accounts? Yes. Like the average. Ito regalé tu día, verás se manda el disco publicado en tu en Facebook, en verá en el cartel, 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 en el If maybe if there is any feedback with the the youngster when you use the social media. Um, that relates to all kinds of subjects.
relationship, sometimes depression, sometimes loneliness, heartbreaking, and we paid to uh, an external uh, company to uh, publish it on the net. We we post two uh, posts like that in a week, but during all the week, so it gets to fifteen thousand two clicks over one week. My. And some of them uh, react, comment to the post, but. Vale, verá que asando, y su lico de te verá que asando en nada, vale, vi mes suelo ir o publicar en tu estela astean, Facebook en baño, claro, diseña, sale tal de vale que en la negrita en dute, se agarran si asco, me atendió te diseño, Ari, la verdad, la guinda co publica si oye, veine de haber risa compartir en tu estela. Vale, pero ya que no tengo nada, tengo que publicar en el centro de la iriquita de agua en el momento antes, pero tú también tienes que ver a esa teco, en el momento de la altura de tu site este. Eta gero egiten dutena da, gazteek beraiek, hori, Messenger, Facebook Messenger biztartez, harremanetan jartzen dira, ya, galdera zuzenak egiteko ezitzaiei. Vale, pero WhatsApp tan le va a dar que te va a ir a ere, el gunero, bueno, oso maiz joaten diren parte de aquí, eta incluso batutan galdera naiko serioa, edo komentero naiko serioa, que ukitzen dituztela WhatsApp tan le oietan. Ok. So, it's also an opportunity to tell you that we have all the presentations and the tools and the information that we gather here in the seminar on our web we have um, the google drive and Urko, if you bai, want to orain, share with eh, them bai aste hontan landutako eh, orkespen guztiak material guztia bilduta daukago eta gero zu ere ba, ba bidaliko dizuago yeah. so we'll just share with you our primary um, Conclusion: We still have one day to make the closure, but we already can say that uh, we figure out that although, as I said, we come from different uh, culture and organization, and uh, the issue of the setting uh, is very important in the area of the digital youth work. Eh, bueno, nahi zeta hora indikan, gaur arratxaldean eh, ondorio hiek eh, kin jarraituko degun eta balazioa ingo degun eta hori jasotzen eh, saiatuko gehan, ba bueno, gutxio gora bera aurreratu dezakegu zeintzutik izan daitezken horietako eh, ondorio batzuk. Yeah. Um, um, lots of the participant uh, raised the, the issues of uh, how can I keep my privacy as a worker, I can, how can I you know, set the limits of time, what, what's the time for the job, what's the time for my free time, um, how do I keep uh, authority, you know, because like uh, now I'm a, uh, I have a Facebook and me and the youth are friends, so what is the boundaries? Oren agartu dira beste mota batetako arazoak eta kezkak, sare ezo, bueno, face to face hortan gertatzen ez direna, koren sare ezo zeretan gaude, nera beta gazteekin eten gabe konektetuta gaude, eta beste mota bateko kezkak sortzen zaizkigu, nun jarri behar dira mugak, noiz arte nola erantzun behar da, zema iztazunakin, bere alakotasun hori mantendu dezakegu langile bezala, nun bukatzen da nere lan profesional eta nun hasten da nere bizitza pertsonala ze sare sozialekin hori mugoia jartzea ez da ez da inerrexa. 
So uh, basically, uh, we um, they participate like set up their own boundaries and like they have like um, from their practice they figure out their solution. But I think this is something that has to be more structured. And uh, one of the things that we raise that uh, we need a practice guideline guidelines. We need something that uh, can um, be a definition of how, what is the best practice, what is the way to be more, um, to work efficiently and more with a good um, structure and that we can feel that we still keep our mission, the, the traditional mission, but still we uh, relevant and accessible uh, to the youth and the internet. E, e, lan saioetan atera dira e, ezak, soluzio batzuk, baina bai nabaritzen duguna da behar dela gida batzuk behar dugula, gida bat behar dugu, e, irizpide batzuk behar ditugu hau guztia, honi guztiari forma egiteko, lan egiteko modu berri hau honi eusteko, eta... eta yeah. And also, once in a while, we know about new application and new uh, social media. So uh, we, the mature, are, um, um, how do you say, like uh, immigrate um, in the digital area. So um, we have to be, like, to know the technology, but still we have to keep in mind that we won't have the same um, knowledge, technology knowledge, just like the youth. Which is okay because uh, we still have the digital um, um, literacy. Okay, the, the the knowledge as a mature, it's still relevant also when we meet in the digital area. Eh, Esa tendo nada con tu barrera normal le han gasté quien la negi tendo uno que es gera la eh, nativo digital a quedó gasté a dir en vez de la orden gukere or eh, bueno y casi verdad gu eh, no, tres no ya que no la era bilce, mañana bueno, Google ha dado que este es a última parte de ahora ya la aplica tu barco de nuque na es para Robert y Onetan. Ah, that is not uh, okay. Um, so um, we we think that this is like the the first part of the seminar because uh, although it's for days, we still need we still have the feeling that we should continue. Uh, we will raise a Facebook page that we can keep in touch, all of us. Um, because I think one, maybe it's not here in the... No. Uh, one thing that we uh, can say about this, the um, conclusion of the seminar is that we have like a good friendship between the participants and we could make, you know, like get uh, other cultures uh, so we we think about uh, as I said the, the the practice the practice guidelines is very important the Facebook page that we can keep in touch and you know next seminar somewhere. <laughs> jarraipen bat eman, hori da gaur arratxaldean saiatuko gerena e, e, zehazten. Argi daukagu, e, gida bat e, sortzea dela gure helburua, e, erabili dezakeguna gero gure lanean, baina horretarako beharko dugu beste e, tarte bat edo espazio bat. So, hau, hau izan da guztia, e, helburuak eta e, orain e, Seminario bukatzen de Gunean, se ya tuvo gradena eh, Hasot en Chukun Harten, se desde Gortanako eh, Astrike Eduki, eta bueno, Gusti Ori Hasot en Gunean, eh, Sabaduko de Gu, Gure Comunita de Arembitartes, edo, edo este video de Arembitartes. So, thank you, Nir. Thank, thank you, you to all the participants. Um, we have to continue working. Es que recasco Nia Gartura tu seaten. E, guzti, eukiko dezue gure lan honen fruituen berri eta bami jaskere etortzea gatik.
Do you want to ask something? Yeah? Ah, okay. <laughs> it's the right way. Okay, before we close, um, we have something for you to be shared with the group, but there is this candied chestnuts from Turkey. And should we open it and everybody should take it? Uh, yeah. And yeah, I mean, these are like kinda different kind of candies, uh, chestnuts, which is famous in my city. So you can enjoy it, please. And uh, there is this lavenders, which is uh, against this uh, hybrid seeds. In Nilifar municipality, we raise uh, original seeds from old times. We find the seeds and we make a seed bank. So they raise these lavenders, and uh, you can take something, just take, take one, and it smells so nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you are free to take. Yeah, thank you. And I just want to say uh, thank you, all of you, for uh, the hostility. Uh, we, we are very happy to be here. It's a wonderful, beautiful place. And uh, now we know the Basque country and all of us, I think, we just want to be here again. <laughs> and we like the food and the places, the, the, the beautiful um, uh, view, and uh, of course the people. So thank you very much. We don't know the Basque yet, but <laughs> maybe next time. And we know the Basque people. Yeah, for sure, yeah. The language is not important. Thank you.